Okay people, this is himself. Welcome back to another Tekken 7 Armor King guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Armor King's ground throws. He's got 10 of these and each one is slightly different. I'm also going to show you a 220 plus damage combo related to the subject, so stick around for that. So Armor King's ground throws can be done with down back 1 plus 3 or down back 2 plus 4. Now the 1 throws generally give some sort of attack and the 2 throws are generally pull ups. Now what I'm going to do is start off with the former because these are easy to explain. So when the opponent is face up feet towards we get the seesaw flip. This is 30 damage and it switches positions. Now in the right circumstances it can wall splat and wall break. But Armor King takes so long to recover that there really is a follow up here. The exception to this is on a balcony break because here you can get a burning knuckle and if you're on jungle outposts you can get even more damage. The parallel to this role is when they're face up feet away, this gives the knee strike. Just like the seesaw, it can wall splat and wall break, and on balconies you get the same combos. When they're face down feet away, you get the lariat. This doesn't wall splat, but if you're fast enough, you can get a D3 for free. If they're face down feet towards, then you get the ankle lock. Now the Oki okay here isn't that good, but we do have some options. The best one is probably D3. This is side rolls and people staying down. To cover crouches and spring kicks, we have DB2, and against the ankle tap, we have hop kick. What that then leaves is the sideways positions. And the interesting thing here is that regardless of whether you go for a one throw or a two throw, you get the same animation. Now when the face up, what you get is the flip over. This doesn't do any damage, but a people's elbow is guaranteed. It also guarantees a ground throw attempt, and since they're face down, you get the mount. Now the mount itself doesn't do any damage, but what you can do is extend it with punches. This is 30 damage, but it also guarantees an alley kick. So in total, your damage is actually 39. Now the problem with the mount is that it has two places to break it. The first is the initial ground throw attempt, and the second is at the punches. If you go for one punches, then they can break with two, and if you go for two punches, then they can break with one. Now this to me is a little unfair. If you've managed to land a ground throw, then the opponent should only have one opportunity to escape it. It shouldn't be two. Now what I think has happened here is that it's a hangover from the old Armor King. Back in Tekken Tag 1, all of Armor King's ground throws gave the mount, and I think what Namco have done is simply forgotten to update this one. So if we get another balance patch, what I'd like to see is the mount automatically go into punches and the opponent to only have one point to break it. So those are the one throws, let's now look at the two throws. For face up feet towards, we get the pull up. This puts up plus 8, but it also gives us a mix up. The best option is probably D4, this is all movement and can only be beaten by crouching. To cover that we have back 2, this is a safe mid and it hits all side steps. It can also be extended with back 2-1-2, two, two. this is a count hit combo and it's safe on block. But you can't hit confirm it and the last hit is high so you do need to be careful. At the wall the throw becomes more interesting, against the majority of the cast you get a wall bump and that gives enough frames for back 1-2 two, to be guaranteed. What's also guaranteed is a rage drive. But the combo is pretty much a just frame and people know this, so what they will do is duck and if you haven't done it right, you are going to die. To cover that we can use down back 1 plus 2, this is an uninterruptible mid and it's plus 3 on block. It also guarantees stomps or a ground throw attempt on hit, so in theory we can reset. The parallel to this throw is face down feet away, this gives us a similar pull up and also puts us up plus 8. But the spacing is a little different because back 2 can whiff, so to cover that we can use DB2 and D4 is still low. At the wall the bump is still on, so back plus 1 2 and the rage drive is still there for the taking. The other two ground throws are also similar, but in these cases the opponent recovers back turned. Because of that, 
and the fact that you're at plus 9, a shoulder is guaranteed. You might also be able to get DB24 and F21, but I'm not entirely sure. Now at the wall, these swallows become even more dangerous. You still get the wall bump, but because of their back tend, you have more frames to work with. The best true combo that I could find was DB1 plus 2. This knocks them down and guarantees stomps. It also allows for a ground throw attempt, so in theory, we can reset. Another option is F4. This is also guaranteed, but it puts us at plus 7 and it forces them into crouch. Because of that, I think a shoulder is guaranteed and that then guarantees a blackjack. So in total, you actually do more damage. Now the obvious place to use a ground throw is when you get a hard read. After certain moves, like Tombstone, people might be reluctant to get up. So in this case, a ground throw can seriously hurt them. What you can also do is use it in his wall combos. As long as the splat is at a decent height, you have enough time to pick them up and do some damage. The other place that you can use them is after certain knockdown moves. Stuff like CD4, 1 plus 2, 2, Count It Shadow Sweep. These all guarantee a ground throw attempt. And if you don't want to go for that, you still have stumps. But the most interesting one is Net Cutter Kick. Here, if you slice up left and then stand up, you have enough time to do a ground throw. And in the right position, you can do over 220 damage. Now if you enjoyed this video do give it a like, it really helps out this channel and it motivates me to do more for this character. Looking ahead there are more Armor King videos coming so make sure you subscribe if you want to see those. In the meantime have fun, play well and I'll see you guys in the future.